This is the sixth and penultimate night of investigation from the somber and silent town of RAF West Raynham. This is Most Haunted Live. Good evening and you join us in a rain-swept and wind-tossed Norfolk night here on Most Haunted Live, the secret town. The town in question is the former RAF base West Raynham, a town on a massive but now abandoned scale and so far we have had some absolutely awesome results. We've had smashing light bulbs, plates being hurled around, weird screams, we've had horror, we've had hysteria and the journey still has two more nights to go because this is our penultimate night. The journey in front of us is terrifying, but also intriguing. Who knows what lurks inside the RAF base for Yvette Fielding and the team. And tonight, Kieran O'Keefe is conducting a unique experiment in a room, room seven, that has seen reports of intense paranormal activity. Now, Yvette and the team are outside, not too far from our central location here at Hangar 4. Here is just some of what might be in store for them tonight. Hidden away in a lonely corner of this abandoned site, you'll find the officer's mess. Once a busy haven, a place for rest, relaxation and recuperation. Now this expansive, echoey building is a desolate, barren, intimidating shell. The only sense of people is that of the saddened souls left behind. Many soldiers have passed through this building. Familiar faces would meet here, the walls filled with a strong sense of comradeship. But sadly, not all of those comrades would return. Several spirits have been sensed here. Could they be searching for their colleagues who never came back? Or perhaps they are those lost to war, returning to the last place they knew was home. One alarming recollection from this building is that of a steward being terrified whilst on his rounds. He claimed to have seen a shape visibly moving down a corridor. Petrified, he brought others to investigate and discovered the same thing. Terrified, they could find no explanation. The most sinister area here is known simply as Room 7 and is said to send chills down the spines of anyone who dare enter. This dank, dark room is severely cold all year round, much more so than the rest of the building. Many have recounted seeing the spirit of a pilot walking through the walls here, disappearing into the warren of corridors and rooms. Will any of the team dare to follow and see where he leads? Our investigation into the silent town that was once known as RAF West Raynham is about to commence. We are absolutely live between now and midnight. Yvette Fielding is in place with the team. Let the vigil begin. Thank you very much, Paul. Well, we're here outside this tonight's location, and it's the officer's mess. And it is huge, absolutely huge. I know Carl, Stuart, Kieran, uh, uh, and various other members of the crew have had a big wander around this place. We haven't had a wander no, around there, uh, leaving it for surprise. Uh, and it's awesome, isn't it, apparently? It is. I was actually here during the day a couple of days ago, and it's creepy even during the day. And I'm saying that, but I know it's, you know, psychological, but it is a huge place, and there are parts of it that I know are going to creep people out. Now, also, our security, Steve uh, Smith, who's head of security here, they always have a scout round, and, and they get the sniffer dogs out, make sure that there's nobody in this particular building just before we come here and they were saying that they were actually seeing figures like black shadows moving around inside and uh, different rooms down the corridors and they were saying that freaked the security guards out so yeah so we're in for a bit of a night let's head inside then and uh, and take a look at what we've got okay just so you know uh, tonight's a little bit um, different from last night um, the crew were all together, so Chris is on main camera. We've got lovely Chris Conway and Kieran, obviously. We've got Carl and Kath, 
Stuart uh, with the cables, aren't you, Stu? Where are you? Matt and Simon, and we've got Guy uh, over in the back there. We've also got Mike, um, who is a cable a, a rigger, and he's going to be picking the cables up and walking around. But he's further down that corridor there. So, should we uh, make yes. it? Yes. Before we even start, when we were in here, you know that noise we've been hearing that long squeak. Yeah. It was while you were talking outside. You could hear it in here, just straight away. Did it sound a bit different now? Yeah, it was. It, 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 it was a, that whirl, but different. Okay. It was. It was almost like it was slower, like lower. Just for those people who have just not seen any of the most haunted shows previous to this one, we've been picking up on a very high frequency. Sort of at first, things a rat or something like that, but actually, we've, it, it has a. Um, almost an elect electricity static feel yeah, to it yeah. um, so we've been picking that up the last couple of nights slowing it down and getting the most quite frightening uh, noises out of it which we'll be playing to you later on but anyway Chris yeah. what are you sensing as you're coming into this particular building straight away this this is quite a, a strange one for me being in a British RAF base mm -hmm. as soon as we walked in I've been made, it's like a French accent, a French, in fact, French language, and the, the, there's two of them, mm -hmm. and they're up speaking to me, but they're, sp they're speaking so fast, and they're speaking in French. Can you ask them to slow down? Yeah, I'll, tr I'll try. Come on. Come on. Picking up, uh, I'm picking up some, some words, but yeah. not, not, not many. Tell me what you're hearing. Anything. It, it I'm, try, I'm trying to sort of pick things as they're yeah. talking. It's like uh, Alamon, al 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 something like that. Alamon, come, come on. Gwer, something Gwer. Gwer. Does that mean something? Well, yeah. it's a pronunciation, but uh, uh, Gwer, yeah. G U E W R E, means war. Fantastic, that's good. Okay. I'm just trying to, as I'm saying, yeah. they're going so fast. Come on. Maybe Kieran. I wonder what they're doing hey, here. Hey, you yeah. ask a question in French that they would understand. Mm -hmm. okay. And perhaps they could, and ask them to speak slowly back to Chris. Okay. Maybe Chris can give you an answer. Okay. Um, uh, simple question. Uh, comment t'appelles-tu? Ask them to speak slowly to Chris. Okay. Mais uh, parle pas vite pour Chris, l'homme uh, qui est ici. Who's hearing that? Come on. No, they're still speaking fast and they're still, you're saying guerre, but it's, it's, to me it sounds like guerre. Okay. But, All right, so. Okay. But can, it could be that just the way they're, 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 they're speaking. We can try a little bit of yeah. this later on. But can you just describe to me what they look like and any more information you have from them? I'm not getting an image just now. Guys, sorry to no, interrupt. No. Are you hearing what I'm hearing, Matt? I'm too far back. Right, no. everybody just stand completely still now, because I don't know if anyone's been hearing it, it's like a moaning noise. Yes. That's exactly what Kath has just said. Right, heard I've heard it thing. twice now. So let's just stand still, don't even move. It's very, very faint, but it's there. There's the squeaking noise, which is with us, and then there's a very, very faint, that sort of classic ghost noise. Yeah. Let's keep walking down. So, how many of these gentlemen are there, the French? It's, it's, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not actually getting an image of them at the moment, but there's... But at the moment there's two with us. Right. I'm trying to see if I can get an, Im get an image of them. Yep. Just now, it's, it's voices that are coming to me. Okay. And, um, All right. I don't know. I don't know. It's as much a surprise to me that to, to find Frenchmen in a, a, a British RAF base. Okay, let's just... Everybody stand still. Can you hear it, Carl? I can hear it. It's like a, that dynamo thing going again. There it is. 
That's more like a breath. Matt, can you can you get it? I'm getting the dynamo thing. Yeah, and listen, banging now. Oh, and the noise. I heard that. Yeah. yeah. Once, once we stand still, we'll settle. 